Now everybody, guess who is back at it again? Yes, it is our most favorite YouTuber, Trevor Jacob, everybody. Yes, I'm of course talking about the guy who deliberately crashed his plane into the California mountains like five months ago here in this video. You guys might just remember this case right here. Pretty big news in the aviation community for sure here. December 24th and a very interesting video and very interesting like to dislike ratio. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is very interesting indeed. I also remember making a video about this right here. In the video, we managed to work out quite well, you know, what seems a little bit suspicious about this interesting emergency case. Right, I mean, just the fact that he has like 10,000 GoPros attached to his plane to catch like every angle of the crash. That's good to see. Yeah. We came to the very big conclusion that this is a very fake video. Pretty sure. Whatever. It's now been five months ever since this video has been posted. And back in December when I made my video about this case, I remember saying this line right here. I really want to find out what happens to Jacob now. We'll just have to wait for some news from the FAA. So yeah, guys. Yes. News from the FAA. And uh, big news from the FAA indeed. <laughs> yes. Four days ago, this New York Times article was posted confirming that the FAA agrees with the aviation community that this video was fake. This was a deliberate stunt for views. <laughs> As a consequence, the agency said it would immediately revoke Mr. Jacob's private pilot license, effectively ending his permission to operate any aircraft. Yes, they've finally gotten rid of his pilot license. That's the start already. That's good. And I mean, you know, the thing about media is that once a big outlet like the New York Times talks about you, you are really a hot topic indeed. I mean, you can just type in J Trevor Jacob right here. Now, Global News, New York Post, even some German um, outlets right here. Jesus Christ, these are some big outlets. Jesus. New York Times, NBC, this is crazy. There were also a lot of national TV stations reporting about this. Even this guy talked about it. Do you know this guy? I know this guy. YouTuber punished for purposely crashing plane. Yes. And guess what? Trevor Jacob has now posted a response video, which is just absolutely hilarious, by the way, and has no content at all. Let's watch it together. How about that? Let's uh, let's work it through right here. I mean, first of all, the like to dislike ratio. We could work on that. Anyway, the video begins with him in a plane. Which is a bit ironic. <laughs> and basically what this plane scene right here is about is him talking about sending his pilot license back to the FAA, which is very kind. Gotta send in my pilot's license. Here we go. Unfortunately, I got revoked, so just putting it in the box here and uh, we'll be landing and sending that off. This is meant to be some sort of act of like provocation here, you know, packing the license inside of an aeroplane, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't like that either. Anyway, after that, his co-pilot asks him a very important question. You're not done flying all together though? I don't know, man. I mean, the aviation community's been pretty tough on me, so I'm thinking about just quitting altogether and giving up just because I, I've hated. <laughs> yes, quit it, please! Honestly, I mean, that's what we want. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, great, what's gonna come after this? Let's go. The topic of this video is losing my okay. private pilot's license. So I got a statement in the mail that said an emergency order of, you know, having to give up your pilot's license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically what this is now about is, is this some sort of like podcast situation here, podcast style video with the same microphone that I have, which is a bit shameful. Anyway, here he talks about his current situation. You know, I got the letter in the mail and then all of a sudden New York Times posts an article. But uh, then as soon as one person posts it, everyone else is going to jump on it. So I've been reached out to by like ABC, NBC, CNN, Fox News, like all these different people. It's just interesting to see like when the news wants to jump on something like they all just attack it like flies. Yeah, definitely he finds it interesting how famous he has become now. Honestly, I'm getting pissed off, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why, but he kind of does sound and look proud, doesn't he? I'm sorry, I mean, I'm not being objective anyway. I'm on an FBI terrorist watch list now. That <laughs> well, congratulations about that. That's 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 good. <laughs> well, anyway, he's got some good news as well. To all you haters out there or lovers, I made some merch to pay for some attorney fees, and I got like this one that's feeling adventurous always. Merch. You get that one. I got yes, of course. Now, Trevor, as smart of a businessman as he is. He is now trying to capitalize on his fame, which is a good idea. I mean, the whole world loves him for sure. Everyone will buy the shirt and wear the shirt. This is a very good idea. Anyway, after this, he says something I think very childish, but super weird. Maybe she was like, 
this is so and so from ABC News coming from Washington, D.C. <laughs> like, I don't care where you live. Yeah, he comments on like some of his TV appearances, right? Anyway, after this, he pretty much for five minutes straight just compiles some of his TV appearances. Uh, it's all it's all just TV appearances, which is I don't know. He's doing that to like put boost his ego. I don't know. Oh, I've been on on ABC News. Right, there's a lot of people here. I remember this guy. Yeah. Anyway, after this small compilation of his TV appearances, he drops the absolute bomb. And also the reason why I'm making a video, an update video about this. I'm sorry if I offended you, but at the end of the day, you're the one that chose to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to watch my videos like you're here because you're intrigued by the video or else you wouldn't watch it dude honestly but what the hell i mean first of all this is not about the aviation community being offended right what you did jacob was not an offense to anyone like i don't know that you didn't say anything controversial anything that could offend anyone and this is about safety you, what you did was a safety hazard that's the whole point you were potentially risking human life uh, you know, you got to think about that. Anyway, he goes on to say this right here. You don't need to watch my videos. Like, you're here because you're intrigued by the video or else you wouldn't watch it. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. It's just the truth. It's like, you have the freedom to not watch me, but you're watching me. So, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that laugh alone, I mean, Jesus Christ. But honestly, what he's using right here is like a typical YouTuber statement of like YouTubers who cannot really deal with the criticism at all, right? I mean, normally this would be a typical response of people commenting stuff like, oh, your videos suck. You know, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Or, oh, your voice is annoying. Just stuff like that. But no, Trevor, this is not about your video quality or your voice. This is not about taste, right? It's not about liking your videos. It's about the fact that you crashed your aeroplane deliberately into California. Well, what the hell? This has nothing to do with taste. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, what he's basically doing right here is just making fun of the people who criticize his actions, who are worried about safety and stuff like that, right? Which is just so immensely immature. I mean, what you're getting right here, Jacob, is not hate. It is people being seriously worried about the safety of the skies in the United States of America. Honestly, seriously, this is bad. Anyway, he then arrives at the post office to send his license back here. So, uh... There's that. I guess it's one less card in my Ridge wallet, but... <laughs> one less card in my Ridge wallet. Oh, my God. I mean, really, someone desperately has to call that Ridge wallet marketing department and say what's going on. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyway. Also, go to adventure.com, click on the products tab. All right, tab. here's some more You're merch ads. Yeah, it's great. Look at that here. Thank you. We'll see you in 10 months. See you in 10 <laughs> months. Yes. He's, uh, he's definitely expecting to see this pilot's license back, isn't he? Which, actually, the thing is, might just work. I'm not quite sure what the actual consequences are now, really, but normally, he should be able to reapply for a pilot's license next year. And if he is approved, I'm gonna be pissed off, by the way. <laughs> Honestly, I do want to see, like, more consequences right here, especially also because of this video right here. Like, maybe some fine or maybe jail time or something at least i mean like i mean honestly i agree with all of these comments right here other authorities have to see this this dude is not remorseful at all given the most severe penalties possible yeah huge fines and jail time will wipe a smirk off this dial he definitely is not regretting anything about what he did here that's for sure he's now trying to capitalize off of his fame which is probably not going to work at all. Honestly, this is quite clear. He definitely planned this and to become this massive YouTube persona after doing this crazy stunt. He maybe also have planned with a bit of hate right there, but you know, kind of like the formula, every publicity is good publicity, which uh, honestly is, is just very stupid. Like, I'm honestly not quite sure. I mean, is, does he know what he's doing right there? He's keeping the videos online. He's posting stuff like this, laughing into the faces of people who are worried. Uh, genuinely. Like maybe he really tries to provocate. I, I don't know. What is he doing? 
Anyway, what I'm expecting as a professional YouTube analyst, right, is that he won't be successful at what he's doing at all. Basically, no one will buy his merch. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, great. And you don't even have picture. You only have picture of the motive, isn't it? Oh, wow. Great. Yeah, no one will buy this sh sh crap here. And everyone will have forgotten about this guy within like a year. And, you know, he will maybe face further penalties. Maybe even jail time indeed. Anyway, what will the next step of this case be? I'm not quite sure. I don't even live in the US, right? Probably like the NTSB or maybe like the USDA will have a little look into this. Maybe see what's going to happen to Trevor Jacob. Anyway, this seems to be a while right now for Trevor Jacob. And we're definitely not at the finish line. <sighs> Let's wait for it, honestly. So yes, everybody, as Trevor Jacob says, always wear your parachute. And thank you very much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, The Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider.